Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a quick tutorial on association rules. So um, association rules can be created using SQL Server analysis services. Um, but what I'm going to do today is show you how to create these rules using the Excel add-in um, for, um, for SQL Server. So what happens is the um, Association rules are still created in um, SQL Server, but essentially you can drive the whole process out of Excel. So, first of all, what are association rules? So, essentially, this is a association rule created using this um, data mining add-in for Excel, um, and each uh, row is essentially an association rule. So, let's just look at this first row here um, to demonstrate the concept. So, what it's saying is that for product two. Product 3 is often associated with it. In fact, in 71% of cases where Product 2 was sold, Product 3 was also sold. So these are the raw metrics here. Um, 127 um, sales of Product 2, and there were 91 um, correlated sales with um, Product 3. Um, so these are really useful when, um, say, marketeers want to build cross-sell campaigns, because what it does is it um, identifies natural affinities between products so you know where those products are naturally purchased together so the idea is if you then put in some incentives in place um, you can then lift the sale of the products but like you know at McDonald's and they say do you want fries with this this meal that's a sort of a very simplified sort of example um, and with these um, association rules you get some really useful information such as you know the average value of the recommendation. So we know that in 71% of cases these two products are associated, but we know what it says here that is that for every single um, case where product 3 is attached to uh, product 2, that's another $34,000 in revenue. So you can start building scenario analysis around what sort of product groupings um, we can, um, we have your best to look at, and that's essentially what. Um, what these figures uh, allow you to do. So uh, it's a very simple process to create association rules. So I'll just close this one down. Um, you can grab the data from the sample files from my website. So that is analyticsinaction.com and if you go to forward slash association rules you'll get this page you can download uh, the uh, Excel file. Actually, I just need to. It's too large. Okay, click to download. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look that good. File. Let's just try that again. File. Download. Here we go. It's showing downloads. And folder. Okay, so let's just open that up. So this is the association rule I just showed you, but in the sales tab here we've got the raw data. So the first step in the process is to, okay, first of all, you do need to have the data mining add-in installed. So if you don't have it, go, just go SQL Server Excel Data Mining Add-in Download that should take us to where we want to go. There you go. And you can just download it from there and it'll just put you through a quick wizard to um, to configure it. Okay, so we've got the file open here. So the first thing is we need to convert it into a table. So go home, sorry, insert table. For some reason the um, the uh, this Excel add-in likes to work with table uh, table data and then we just hit shopping basket analysis um, transaction ID is the customer the item is the product and the item value is the um, the total value of the sale and we'll just let that run and there we go we've got some um, association rules created there um, and we've got a number of different tabs I'll go on to the more um, advanced tab here 
which is essentially what we saw before. So this tells you, okay, this is the item, this is the product which they rec uh, recommend you try and cross sell with it, percentages, the value of the uh, recommendation and then the overall sale value of the uh, linked sales. So that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing is, you know, that you can play around um, more with the um, with various settings so you can look at how many products um, are grouped together so here I've just allowed it um, just to pick any number of products you may be looking interested in just say two groups of um, two products or maybe three products or greater than you know a certain number of products but that's pretty much it if you found this um, useful um, come across either subscribe to my um, YouTube channel or come across to my website which is as I mentioned before um, analyticsinaction.com stacks and stacks of information on um, uh, SQL Server um, so integration services um, analysis services reporting services um, you name it um, lots of really useful information to get you up to speed with business intelligence and analytics in general